Hi YouTube, hi. Um, so today is seven days post-op and I'm out of hospital. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I came back, uh, came back yesterday morning and um, yeah, it was all, 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 you know, fine really. I got a taxi, um, <coughs> which wasn't too bad. Um, um, it's about three hours door to door to home. Um, the last few days have been quite mixed really. Um, since I did my last video, um, <clears throat> like in some ways, although you think the first few days are the hardest, um, they kind of are, but then they aren't like, because you're basically just flat on your back. Um, or you're on liquids, you've got a catheter in, so you don't even um, have to think about anything, really, literally. Um, so in some ways you're just kind of lying there and I was doing stuff on my laptop and things a bit. So, um, you know, and you're on kind of drugs a bit, so everything's a bit hazy and it just kind of like, you know, goes by, but it's still quite a difficult period to get why? Because you are literally just flat on your back and that kind of gets quite painful after three days, like my bum and my kind of lower back was quite sore. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, once you're kind of through that period, so I'm just trying to remember the order of days, um, like where do we get to? Um, Monday. <clears throat> Um, Sunday they get you up out of the chair and you can sit in a chair um, for half an hour, twice in the day, which isn't really that exciting and it's really uncomfortable because you've got the pack in and although the pack doesn't feel, although the pack isn't that big, it feels like you're basically sitting on that <laughs> and that's really odd when you try to sit on a chair because you're just like, ah, uh, um, and just anything like if you try to lie on your side or whatever unless you're flat on your back it just becomes more and more annoying as like the more you can feel it like all the time there's this really really weird kind of sensations going on um <clears throat> like all the kind of nerve endings in your body um well down there are basically just kind of firing away and doing weird shit like I had the strangest feeling um, that there was a really um, there was a girl who had surgery the same day as me who was in the room next door who will probably be writing lots of cheeky comments on my videos um, so it was really nice having her there and going through the experience together because I think we really kind of we really help support each other and keep our spirits up and you know talk through things um, and be like God what you know how was your day what do you feel like this is this happening and be like yeah 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 totally um, and it was really it was really nice to be able to say to her you know do you do you feel this do you do you kind of feel like this is going on right now like I had this really strange sensation which for about the first four days like. <clears throat> water running through a pipe um, and like if you imagine that pipe was going um, through my thing um, and the sensation of like water running through it it's strange but it's like it was like a really that's the kind of most accurate way I can describe it and uh, it was just odd but it's gone now um, so um, <clears throat> yeah, that kind of stopped then around sort of Monday um, when the pack came out and then that day they start to show you how to, y you get like a mirror and you sit on your bed, you lie on your bed and go through everything with the nurses and they show you everything down there um, and, you know, show you how to dilate basically. Um, I mean, all the nurses, everybody there were just absolutely incredible, like the most amazing people ever. 
um, and I've got so much respect and gratitude for them. Um, that's, um, yeah, I mean, just fantastic, uh, really good. <clears throat> and yeah, so Monday was like a good day, but it was also like quite a bad day because it was really hard and physically um, mentally and emotionally like quite draining um, because you're suddenly you're looking at like you know I mean I was really amazed at how it looked at that point in time um, and I was like wow you know it's I can see that you know in a few months it's gonna look like amazing um, <clears throat> but you still kind of looking at something you've still got a catheter in that point in time things are like you know pretty raw and at the same time you're having to kind of like dilate and that is really uncomfortable um and especially like there's two dilators the little one's not too bad it's really uncomfortable when it's in um the big one i couldn't get it in um the first time and it really hurt and I was just nearly started crying because I was like oh my god like <clears throat> how am I ever going to do this and how is my life ever going to be the same because I'm going to be doing this three times a day and I've got to get all this stuff together and I've got to like clean everything and then have a bath and you know three times a day and then I've got a douche and all this stuff and, and I think just everything of the day just kind of was too much for me at that point um but then the tuesday was like right we've shown you everything now you know how to do it and today is basically like a school day for you to kind of um start um putting into practice what we've shown you <clears throat> so you know what to do and that was really good because suddenly although they're really like so kind and so cool um, when you're trying to dilate and stuff I think when you're doing it on your own obviously there's no pressure because you're just doing it in your own time and there's no you know you can just get into your own kind of space and try and try different things try different techniques if you're like suddenly like oh, I just need to take five I'm gonna try some breathing I'm gonna do whatever I'm gonna put my music on and listen to Beethoven um, you can do that and I found that day was really good actually and I just suddenly everything seemed like it was going to be okay and I just found kind of a bit of strength and confidence and yeah after after Tuesday I was like cool everything's going to be fine I can do this um, and so that was really good um, and then Wednesday morning um, got up, dilate, bath, clean, makeup, um, and you know, taxi, and I was out there. Um, the only thing that I did wrong that I'm so really upset about is that in the complete melee of trying to get everything sorted and getting all my stuff together and getting the ta the taxi driver turned up early and then he was like come on can you hurry up a bit because I want to do a job at Heathrow afterwards and trying to get out and then I got all loads of stuff and like flowers and things in my room I was trying to get out um I totally failed to say goodbye to like the head nurse and um I'm just really upset about that because in particular she's just such a special person and I I don't know I just wanted to give her a big hug and say goodbye properly um, and I kind of missed that opportunity to do it um, um, so that's the only kind of thing that went wrong really that day um, but other than that I um, I don't know I just feel bad because I just wanted to say goodbye properly and thank her and um, um, but yeah apart from that everything's you know I'm back home and I feel you know I feel pretty good really um, I had some kind of pain in the night like some kind of stinging and today I've started to get some kind of shooting pains which is apparently is quite normal um, but again I'm quite kind of amazed at how um, 
just how good and how normal I feel. Um, you know, I've got to take my time and I will do. Um, you know, I'm someone who finds it hard to kind of sit down for five minutes, let alone um, take six weeks out of your life to do everything that I need to do. But, um, you know, it's just been, it's been okay, you know, and now I'm back home and I'm trying to get into a routine with dilating. Um, that's another story and another video that I'm going to make. Um, but essentially everything is good and I'm home and, um, and I'm alive <laughs> and I have a fanny and I'm really happy about that too. Um, so I will do, I will do another video, um, soon. And thank you so much to all of you for all your kind comments. And, um, I've had so many comments like the last few weeks. It's been amazing. Um, thank you so much. I love you all.